How can he possibly have these? Children, they hid me to protect me outside of time, away from the toy maker. But now I need to help them. Before long, your little friends won't be able to protect you anymore. And when that happens, I'll be right here. Stuff had planned for them. Too greedy to notice. My dear Mr. Knox, how good of you to come during these difficult financial times. But I believe everybody deserves a second chance, just as I got a new lease on life. seen you perform amazing telepathic feats at many venues when I was younger.
something very special indeed after tonight. Nothing will be the same again. Our final game is about to begin. Your friend, Henry. The Toymaker's house. I, I need to remember what happened. I remember his voice playing on the record. There should be a gramophone here, right in the foyer. The memory also opened other rooms. You can visit them now. Look at your spirit board to see which ones. that this night could just last forever? refers to them as my spouse. He says I'm hysterical, but it's not my imagination. My honored guest, Harley my on the hot side of the More than most. Please feel free to use the downstairs kitchen if you're feeling a little wet. The music room. so different. The guests behave like little marionettes. Everything is going to plan. In all these years, the voices never wronged me. But when the Great Depression struck, the young puppeteer fell on hard times.
But when the Great Depression struck, the young puppeteer fell on hard times. The towns that used to welcome him now left him out in the cold. Without an audience, Henry Stauff the puppeteer became destitute. Forced to sell his puppets for a pittance, he started looking for jobs. But there were none, and no one would take the outsider in. As Stauff's money ran out, he went to his bank, but they refused to give him a loan. With nothing left to barter with, he resorted to begging, ignored by all. No one spared him a dime. And the warm summer breeze turned into a cold winter gale. Embittered, he started to resent all those sanctimonious townspeople. In desperation and out of spite, he turned to a life of crime. Driven out of town, he hid in the neighboring woods and robbed those who crossed his path at knife point. All alone during the cold winter nights, Stauff was surrounded by nothing but shadows creeping ever closer. The shadows surrounding Stauff started to call his name. They were his friends, they whispered. And then they entered his dreams. They showed him a beautiful doll. It seemed alive somehow. Its gaze haunting. The next day the image still festered in his mind, and he carved the small figure out of a dead branch, and he made the doll just as he saw it in his dream. The voices sent him to an inn at the nearby town of Harley on the Hudson. The innkeeper had a daughter. Stauff offered the doll, and in turn got a place to stay. A simple transaction, the first of many. The voices told Stauff to open up a shop. And soon, every boy and girl in town wished for a Stauff toy. A Stauff toy is a toy for life, people said. And no two are alike. The mysterious Mr. Stauff grew wealthy overnight. When Henry left the orphanage, he started moving from town to town. 
taking his puppets with him. He performed at county fairs and opened for many well-known magicians. Then the strange sickness came, and children started dying, dying, clutching their stealth toys close. Cemeteries, far and wide, began filling up with small coffins. When the rumors started spreading, the fingers pointed at the toy maker. Stauf was forced to close up his shop and withdrew from public life. But he had one more surprise left in store. The voices had spoken one last time of a great house that the toy maker was to build. A strange house. A house that scared people. It sat there, waiting, with a sinister purpose that no one could fathom. For years, nothing was heard. And old man Stauf became a bedtime story to scare wicked children. The story of a man who made a deal with the devil. Crazy, sick, and mean. After years of silence, six people from Harley suddenly received an invitation to a party at the Stauff Mansion. Upstanding citizens who never took notice of that once lonely beggar, but now he would have their full attention. Now he would get his wish. Revenge. Mansion. Upstanding citizens who never took notice of that once lonely beggar, but now he would have their full attention. Now he would get his wish. Revenge. Henry Stauff, the wicked toy maker. Un petit peu de drone, Aiden Non Là Oh Where did you come from
You got lucky, that's all. 